uh, today I decided to try out chicken harness. Uh, we're doing it in our yard first to make sure, like, to work all the tweaks out. And so far she doesn't seem to want to, like, move too much. Come on. She doesn't seem too excited because she's not around her flock, so she's... Yeah, see, she's trying to head back towards the coop because that's the way the coop is. So... I'm guessing she wants back, but I can't do that, girl. We gotta try out you being away from the coop. Uh, we're past the dog's electric line, so they won't be able to get at her. Come on. So it's safe. There you go. Yeah, that way she's a lot safer. She's eating a bit. She's eating seeds. Going about. She's not really scratching much because I'm near her. Right now we're just running around with the chicken, aren't we? Yeah. I'm gonna reel her in. Mm. And I'm gonna put her in the tree. A tree. Put her in a tree. Like a bird. Should be doing. There. Do you like that better? Do you feel safer now? Oh! She looks good. Now you're in the tree. Now you're facing so that you can jump out. Hop on. You wanna hop on my arm? Hop on, girl. Other foot, too. Hey, it's kind of like an eagle. But instead, a chicken. It's like... Yeah, it doesn't hurt your hands instead as much. The eagle I mean, they still have talons. Like, look at my hands. See? It's kind of poking. Do you want to put her down? Kinda, but I don't know if she'd get off. Watch this. Ready? Ready? If I pull her away... Come on. <laughs> oh. She's like, no. <laughs> I'm not leaving you. <laughs> Shh. Aw. That's kind of cute. Yeah. It's a cute little fish. Uh, fun facts about shoelace. Right there, you can see how her comb is all ruffled up. That's not an injury or anything. That's actually, a, don't poke it too hard. I'm it's a rose comb. They call those, Ooh. I'm pretty sure they're called rose combs. Okay, yeah, there you go. Better. Nice, cheeky. Nice. Can't wait for this quarantine to be over. Then I can go and walk her downtown. <laughs> but I'll be practicing walking her around unfamiliar surroundings for the next few days. Hey guys, in order to pay the chickens back for uh, bringing one of them on a trip today, I decided to give them some nice gold ice cube because it's really hot out today and just kind of sucky weather so I'm hoping that since these are already partially melted they can start pecking at them and yeah you'll notice that some of these are green that's because we put peas in some uh, we added peas and corn to see which they like best, and, uh, yeah. They'll probably like both because they're both sweet. Now we also have some eggshells, uh, a little bit of popcorn, and some uneaten cucumber. So. And also a surprise. And ice cubes. All right, now, when I, if you give them eggshells, you gotta just crunch them up so that they don't eat, so they don't eat their own eggs. No, sorry if I scared you off, Dot. Dot and No Name are a bit, um, bit injured like uh, I'm pretty sure he is the one that did it because it's only males that are injured so go figure um, oh my gosh it seems like 
is trying to lay an egg. Can you see her? A few minutes ago, she was nesting. Usually she'd be outside by now. And she was scratching right over there, making like a nest. I think she's doing the same thing over there. Alright, so we were putting stuff in the nest boxes, and then we found an egg. She laid an egg as we were putting the straw in the nest boxes because we haven't had the next nest boxes available for them because we didn't want them in there if they couldn't lay and white chick laid our first egg look at that it's kind of like a pinkish tan we're gonna take it out later because if the others start laying eggs we want them to know oh there's another egg i guess i'm supposed to put mine there but oh my gosh it's our first egg from this batch oh my gosh white chick laid an egg Hey guys, today we are at Land Between the Lakes walking a scenic trail, which unfortunately we have no clue how to navigate. So uh, we went down the we went down the road where the arrows pointed us. It was a dead end, so we went down the authorized personnel trail. So I guess we're authorized now. <laughs> Look at this. This is amazing. This tree, it bends over the trail kind of like an art. Well, and I mean, some people may think it's unimpressive, but it's just kind of yeah. cool. I like, like it. It's cool. It's not every day that you see a tree that makes just an arch. An arch. Yeah. And it goes directly over the trail. I like it. It is beautiful. Hey guys, we just saw a sarsaparilla. Sarsaparilla? Sarsaparilla. <laughs> be careful, leave the tree. Yeah, and be careful if you're gonna go grab one because, you know, leaves of three is usually poison ivy. Ah. And leaves of five uh, is usually poison oak. This is no. sarsaparilla. Now the top should smell like lemon whenever it's torn. The bark. The bark and so cutting it like that should make it smell kind of like lemon. While the roots should smell kind of like root beer because that's what they used to make root beer out of, sarsaparilla. Yeah. Oh my gosh, that's so cool. It smells so lemony. Like, is there a way that we can bring this home and plant it and make our own root beer? <laughs> you have to do by the root. Uh, I didn't show you. This is what sarsaparilla leaves look like. This should be kind of a combo of this kind of trident-like and of that just, you know, average leaf looking. So it should be a combo of the two. Sadly, I can't grow my own sarsaparilla out of this tiny piece. <sighs> Maybe someday. See this bush looking thing? That is sarsaparilla. Now, the ones we saw earlier were just tiny sprouts, but they are supposed to grow like a bush, like this. And actually, sarsaparilla is the reason that root beer used to be called sarsaparilla, because it's made from the roots of this. But then they started calling it root beer because it's made from the roots, duh. So what hey do you guys, think? Um, we found these weird looking mushrooms. We have no idea what they are. They look cool, but um, please explain if you know what these are. Oh my gosh, look how steep this is. All the way down there. This is crazy. There, a little bit of a clearing, so you can almost see the bottom of it. But it's like, just so steep. You fall down that and you're a goner. Because I don't know if you guys can see it, but past those two trees that are like right next to each other, it's just like a cliff. You just fall. Yeah, it looks like there's like a stream at the bottom. That's probably what made this big old, I think dad calls it a gulch. 
Yeah. Be careful when in Kentucky. There's just this huge Look. silo looking part of the building. Uh, I forget which building it is. It's I think it's the visitor center. And uh Planetarium, right? Golden Pond. Isn't it Planetarium? So it's I think the it... planetarium's the thing with the big dome sweetheart. Alright, so on our way back we decided to take bets on how many eggs would be in the coop when we got back from Land Between the Lakes. I bet five. I'm pretty sure Evan bet four. Dad bet three. And Mom bet two. Uh, I think I might have gotten Mom and Dad's mixed up. But I know for sure that I chose five. And I'm pretty sure Evan chose four. We mainly remembered our own bets, so um, whenever Dad comes up here, I'll have to check with him to see if I got him right. But for now, let's see how many eggs are in there. Um, that's weird. Um, I don't see the egg. There it is. So there's one egg. And the others? Oh my gosh. If there's only one egg, then no one will. See if mom and dad were right. Um, let's go over here. This looks really scratched up. Maybe they laid them in the coop. Alright, let's see if they laid them somewhere else. Alright, I'm going to check their bedding. Excuse me, ladies. Pardon me, don't poop. Please. Not meaning to scare you. Don't know if you can see them. Let's try and turn brightness. I don't know how to turn the brightness up, but they're all sitting up there on the perches. You probably can't see them because they're all black. You can see my chick over there. But, um, maybe there's one in that corner, no? I ain't seeing nothing. Maybe I should pet one of the girls while I'm at it. Which one are you? I don't know how to read them. Alright, alright, I didn't mean to scare you. So it looks like nobody won. There's only one egg. <laughs> okay, watch this. I'm gonna act really excited. And I'm gonna be like, Mom, Dad, you won't believe how many eggs there are in there. And then act like I have them all in my fanny pack. And just pull out a single egg. That's gonna be hilarious. Okay. I'll turn it on just before the prank. All right, guys, the results are in. Okay. How many eggs do you, did you think they were? Evan, how many did you think there were? Four. Dad? I'm always right, so however many you got. Dad. Three. <laughs> okay, Mom? And you said Two, five or six. And I said five. All right. So. Uh, you're gonna pull out three eggs, and it's gonna be. The results are in. There was one. And that's it, huh? That's it. <laughs> I think that'll be it for now, guys.